and then depending on what bit, we'll edit that out. What up guys? Uh, today we're going to be putting together, assembling, utilizing, and reviewing the Yukon 46 inch one drawer mobile workbench with solid wood top. Um, as you guys know, I've got quite a bit of a clutter problem in the office. So I'm hoping that this will help me tidy up a lot of the tools, uh, help clean up a lot, just organize a lot of the projects I have going on. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this bad boy will help me save the day. Looks like it's really gonna be exactly what I need for this. So again, fingers crossed, let's get right to it. Important safety instructions. Be sure to read all instructions before handling. Got it. There's super duper solid casters. Look at that. That'll more than suffice for the tool. So you could use a ratchet or something, but it comes with this little guy and honestly you can just hand tighten it in and then it gets to a certain point and use this just to tighten it. Um, so yeah, you don't need it, really any tools to put this together. So check this out. I love when we actually explain in detail. It shows you a little zoom in here. You got the caster bolt, your caster is underneath the table, and then you're going to have flat washer, spring washer, caster nut. So it tells you exactly what order to put everything in. Okay, I just wanted to point out, so you guys don't run into the same mistake I had, because I didn't thoroughly read the instructions before I started. Frickin' what else is new? Sure to read all instructions before handling. Got it. So, these crazy beefy casters, two of them have the brake, two of them don't. Make sure you put the two with the brake on the same side of whatever handle you, whatever side you put the handle on. You can put it on either side, make sure you put the casters on the same side. The other two wheels do not have brakes. And I had this one halfway on before I realized that, so thank goodness I caught it. But just heads up. All right, we're running out of daylight. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw the other wheels on. But basically, all you have to do is put on the wheels, put on the handle, and then these little tool organizing things for the shelves, which I will, I'll show that in detail. But I'm just gonna throw these wheels on because it is like 115 degrees here and it is absolute nuts. I'm sweating like a dog. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out and then we'll get back to it. We're back in action. Went ahead and just, we lost daylight. So I went ahead and just put the rest of the wheels on. All you do for assembly on this thing is put the handle on, put on the four wheels, which have four bolts each. Um, and then you hang these drawers right here, wherever you want. You can hang these little drawers in any of these slots all the way down. I put it in the very top and the very bottom slot. 
just to utilize the most space. These drawers or these little layers inside this can be removed um, or adjusted on height, but I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this thing with tools. I got a bunch of stuff I need to fit in here and then we'll see how it looks when it's done. All right, let's check it out. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Buttons. I've got a lot more buttons. Buttons. Spray paint. All assets. Investing in assets. You're gonna do a little bit more than a little bit of this. You gotta invest in some asset. Dowling jig kit. I, I kept trying to tell Bobby, man when he was making those risers to grab this thing, man. Look at this. Anytime you got a drill into the side of a board, this thing automatically clamps and centers on your board. And then depending on what bit, what that up? Depending on what bit you're using, you have your different sizes right there. And then you just see it shows you what size. And then you put on the proper fitting and you drill right into the side of the board. Again, I'm gonna play with it for a week. We'll give you a final review uh, when it's all said and done. But let's take a closer look at all the innards. All right, so it's nice and black and chrome. Big old beefy caster wheels on there. The front don't pivot, the back pivots. You put this on either side, so if you prefer it on one end or the other. Um, moves like butter. I know it's not completely full, but I mean, I've got most of what I'm gonna put in there right now. Solid wood top, this isn't faux. I like how it keeps it kind of closed. Plenty of room for stuff. And again, guys, I got tons more stuff I'm going to put in here. You could put organizers in here if you want. They have another version of this with like a bunch of drawers. But I liked this one having the bulk cabinet specifically so I can put my circular saw and all that. I still have a belt in there and stuff I need to dig out behind that whole mess. Uh, I'll be putting in there too. So again, still more room for big stuff. Uh, this will probably stay inside. Heat sensitive things. But uh, for the most part, buttons, components hand tools, uh, I got a toolbox or two I'm gonna probably empty out into here as well. Um, and then yeah, we'll do a final review. I'll let you guys know, check it out.
first of all, I like to say, uh, as far as do I like it, absolutely. I am absolutely in love with this. And I, I did look at quite a few different brands from a few different manufacturers, different stores, uh, Walmart, Home Depot, even Harbor Freight has quite a few to choose from depending on what type of toolbox you're looking for. Uh, and this one, I gotta say, for uh, if you're modding arcades, uh, if you're doing a lot of uh, uh, woodwork, uh, as well as small stuff, um, this really does fit the bill for that whole gray area. Uh, everything else I looked at is either for a lot of small tools, uh, a lot of small parts, or big tools, or don't have a, a workspace or a very small work area. Uh, there's always give and take. Uh, this really seemed to have a little bit of everything, and for whatever reason, the price is like, exceptionally lower than all these other tool, toolboxes. So again, and it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's it's a very shiny, dark, dark black with uh, beautiful chrome, the, the, the Yukon emblem on it. I mean, it looks like something off of like a, a, a big truck or something like the emblem on it. Uh, solid wood top, the handle which you can put on the left or the right side, uh, as well as the casters with the brakes. Uh, I mean, it, it's very smooth. It was well, it's very well designed. It's very sturdy and dur durable. I know it's going to last me a lifetime. Um, don't even have it completely filled, and I have all of my tools in there. Um, you know, and, and the tools I have in there, they're organized, which was the biggest thing. I was tired of going here for this, here for that, and you know, this is in the garage, this is in the toolbox, and now I have everything just organized. And, and the biggest thing was this room that I'm standing in right now. I was hardly able to even just get to my desk. And now, I mean, it's with a few other things. I got a shelf and stuff to, to help put some stuff on as well. But uh, I got to say, it really took a lot of the stress and headache. And it, and it got me back into the thing, uh, swing of things. Um, so I got to say, five stars. Price, uh, just the durability, the look, the functionality of it. It, it, it's, it's, it meets all of the, the needs. Uh, so I highly recommend it, especially if you're doing a lot of the arcade stuff. Uh, I highly recommend it. Again, this is a Harbor Freight thing. Uh, I think it retailed at $269. Uh, I used a coupon which uh, expires, I think it's about once a month. Uh, they have a new code generated. So you're not gonna really, find, you might find this in the catalog. Uh, that's how I came across it initially, uh, but it expires like once a month. So just Google search Yukon Harbor Freight coupon. Uh, and usually what you'll find is that I think it's like 25 or $30 off. It, it knocked it down to, I believe, two thirty nine ninety nine plus tax. Um, but again, I, it, they didn't have it in stock. The only thing was I had to order it. I'd say this is the only negative out of the whole thing was they didn't have it in the back. They had the, the you get, you bring the paper up to the register, they order it, they call you and it's ready. You don't have any sort of tracking information or anything. They just, you got to give them the benefit of the doubt that they're going to call you when it comes in and they do. Uh, and, and they did. And so when I went down there, I mean, they helped me load it up and it was, it, I got to say, but as far as assembly goes, as you can see in the video, all it, it was a very hot day, but all you have to do is put on the four wheels and put on the handle and then put the little shelves on the racks and, and you're done. I mean, you're looking at half hour to an hour, uh, to assemble this whole thing and then start putting all your stuff and that's where the fun begins. So I'm excited for you guys to check it out. Hope you like the video. Please like, please subscribe, uh, and please share. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.